हरे कृष्णा कॉन्स्टेंसी ऑफ पर्पज ऑफन नेसेसिटेट्स चेंज ऑफ स्ट्रैटेजी इंडिया यूज टू डोमिनेट वर्ल्ड हॉकी अबाउट हाफ अ सेंचुरी अगो एंड एट दैट टाइम इट इंडिया इंडियन प्लेयर्स रिलाइड प्राइमरली ऑन देयर स्किल एंड आर्टिस्ट्री टू ट्रम्प ओवर टू ट्रम्प देयर ओपोनेंट्स बट वंस हॉकी शिफ्टेड टू आर्टिफिशियल टर्फ टू एस्ट्रो टर्फ then it became a game more of speed and power than of skill and artistry and because indians couldn't cope with this new uh, reality of hockey uh, the new way in which hockey was being played the indians soon descended from supremacy to mediocrity in hockey so this historical example demonstrates that actually the same the purpose may be the same to win in hockey but if the if the circumstances change if the surface changes then strategies that may be required will be that are required will be different so this principle that change of circumstances calls for change of strategy even when the purpose remains unchanged that applies even to spiritual life also ultimately the purpose of sp- sharing spiritual knowledge and talk and sharing the knowledge about spiritual life or how to practice spiritual life the purpose of that is to help people connect with krishna the supreme spiritual reality to he- help them act in a way the live and act in a way by which they can come closer to krishna now for this purpose at different times different activities may be required now arjuna at the start of the bhagavad gita had primarily two conceptions of uh, paths to spiritual growth one was the path of action which uh, involved uh, karmic entanglement although of a less incriminating nature and if it done piously it could elevate one to higher realms of existence although these were also material that is the path of action and that karma and then he also had alternative the path of renunciation which he felt was superior and which would enable one to Uh, become disentangled faster so he uh, was oscillating between which to choose action or renunciation now arjuna at that time was poised to play a decisive role in a wo- in a war that was going to define the world's dharmic condition and as it was indispensable for him uh, it critical for him to do his duty and accordingly to get that purpose of the propag- establishment of dharma done Uh, krishna told arjuna about a third uh, mode of functioning neither action nor renunciation of action but renunciation in action it means to act with a detached mood and krishna told this is far more preferable for his own for arjuna's good as well as for the world's good in 5.6 he states sanyasastu mahabaho dukham aptam yogatah योग युक्त मुनिर्ब्रह्म न चिरेणादि गच्छति हि सेज दैट दोज हु एक्ट विद अटैचमेंट एंड दोज हु रिनाउंस आर्टिफिशियली दे समटाइम्स बिकम मिजरेबल बट दोज हु एक्ट विद अटैचमेंट दे हैप्पीली एडवांस टुवर्ड्स लिबरेशन सो कृष्णा टॉक्स अबाउट दिस फर्दर इन 5.11 व्हेन ही स्टेट्स काये न मनसा बुद्ध्या केवल इरिंद्रियैरपि योगिनः कर्म कुर्वन्ति संगम त्यक्त्वात्म शुद्धये सो with all our resources we act kayena with the body manasa mind buddhya intelligence kevalair indriyair api even with the senses yoginah karma kurvanti the yogis act but for what purpose sangam tyaktva atma shuddhaye they give up their attachment and they act for self purification sangam tyaktva atma shuddhaye so in this way by acting for krishna's Uh, for purification we can all move towards liberation and krishna recommended arjuna perform such action so now this detached mode of action is what is required in today's world and although because of science and technology external to today's world so situation is radically different from that in previous ages so today modern bhakti practitioners to fulfill to have the same constant purpose of sharing knowledge of krishna and providing facilities for people to come closer to krishna but for that they may use a change of strategy that is instead of 
telling people to go to the forest as, uh, or to renounce the world <coughs> uh, because there are no very very few people who are ready to do that. Actually, the wisdom of the scripture is brought home, is brought to people not just uh, very easily but on their homes and in their phones by using technology, by using internet, by using social media and the purpose of this remains the same. Uh, that is to bring people, bring Krishna close, closer to people and bring people closer to Krishna. And um, this way the change strategy of using technology uh, and the fruits and other facilities of modern society uh, for bringing people to clo closer to Krishna helps in maintaining the constant purpose of elevating individual and global consciousness towards spiritual devotional consciousness. Thank you. Hare Krishna.